everybody, Moonriser here, and today I am going to teach you how to install the Spore Dark Injection Mod for your game. Basically what the Dark Injection Mod is, is that it borrows many elements from the game Dark Spore, and it's put into this one huge mod. It adds a lot of variety. You can make complex creations, complex adventures, and much more. So, let's take a look at our normal game real quick. Because this is going to be a huge mod. It's going to add a lot of stuff. So the first thing that you want to do is we're going to go ahead and Google the mod itself. I'm going to type in spore dark injection. And it's going to be the first option right here home dark injection davo online.com. And so now we should come across a site that is bluish black with some of the characters from Dark Spore. And there's a little slideshow here that gives you a glimpse of what the mod is going to look like. So once you're on this site, you're going to go ahead and click download this red button here. And now you should be on this page of where the requirements are at. Now, this is very important because one of these is the heart of it all. It's Galactic Adventures right here. This is an expansion pack to the regular Spore. Now, if you do not own Spore Galactic Adventures, then this mod will not work. If you do not... It will not function properly if you have regular spores. So you need Spore Galactic Adventures in order for the mod to function properly. So with that in mind, you're going to need Spore. Again, Spore Galactic Adventures. This, this right here will make the mod function properly. Patch 5, 1 or greater. Patches help. Fix bugs, glitches, and update the game. And you need mod API launcher kit 1.1 or greater. And what the launcher kit does, that's how we install the mod. So once again, you need Spore, Spore Galactic Adventures for it to work, patch 5.1, and the launcher kit. So we're going to go ahead and download the mod first. And then it'll take you to this Google Drive page saying that it can't scan for viruses. So you're going to click download anyway. This mod is 100% safe. Now we're going to go back to the page where all the requirements were at. And we're going to download the kit. And it'll take you to this page. Again, here's some pictures to get a good grasp of how the kit is going to look like. Okay, I'm going to download it. Okay. When it's, once it's fully downloaded, we can go ahead and click on it.
Okay, just give it a moment. Okay, now that we have this window, it's going to tell you if you already have a copy of it or is or you're installing it for the first time. So we're gonna install it for the first time. So click this option. Now this part is important too because it's going to tell you where the laundry kit is going to be located. As you see with me, mine is going to be located in program data. So for this tutorial, we're just gonna keep it in program data. You can place it wherever you want, but as of now, we're gonna keep it in program data. So once you're satisfied, we're gonna click install. Okay, now that it's complete, we're gonna go ahead and locate our kit Science our mod is still installing and go into our libraries. You're gonna go to Windows C. Then we're gonna go to program data and we're gonna find the kit right here. Spore mod API launcher kit. So let's click that. And right here contains the launcher, the installer, and the uninstaller. We'll get right, we'll get back to that in a moment. So we're gonna go back and check our mod. Hold on for a second. Okay, so once the mod has finally installed, I have a copy. So once it is finally it has installed, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and drag that mod onto the desktop. Let me update this real quick. I have a copy of the mod. So here it is on a desktop. Okay. Now once you have, now once the mod has installed, you we're gonna launch the kit back up. It is gonna ask you for administration, so make sure you have admin rights to it. So now that we got the mod on there. You're gonna click Easy Installer, and then a and then a window will pop up saying which mod do you want to install. So I'm gonna go to Easy Installer, exe. And then you should have this window that says choose the mod to be installed. So now that the dark injection mod is on our desktop, desktop, you're going to click on that. It should have a bunch of exclamation points saying 2019 DI, I, DI 9R beta. And make sure the file ends with dot spore mod. Make sure it always ends with that if you if you're downloading the dark injection mod. Make sure it says that dot spore mod file. So we're gonna open it up and it's gonna pop up and a little gray box is gonna pop up. This is going to take a while, so be patient.
Okay, so now that it's fully loaded, we're gonna get. You should come across a be a brief description of the mod. Now, as you see on over over here on the left hand side, there are options you can choose from. This first box is called user interface. It's basically how the game is going to look like when you're selecting parts to add on to your creatures and other creations. So as you see, it gives you a little picture of how the UI or user interface is going to look like. You got the full Dark Spore UI, Dark Spore Beta UI, Style Only UI, Shimmer UI, this bluish one, a half black one, and a regular one that you would find in regular Spore. So we're going to choose the Dark Spore, the full Dark Spore UI. The creature creator background. This is how um, the background will, will look like when you create your creature. You got the hero editor background, which is this spaceship. Then you got the spaceship editor, which is more of a galaxy like setting. Ghost town, which is a bunch of buildings and lights. And the forest background, which you'll find when you play a regular sport. So we're going to choose hero editor now this part right here this is all the stuff that you want in the mod as you see you got infinite complexity camera you can move the camera freely modifiers weapons armor more paint options and all that now if you want all this stuff in this game you want to keep all these boxes checked. Now, if there's one that you don't want in game, let's say, I don't want infinite complexity. We're going to uncheck that. Now, once you uncheck that, then the complexity will restore back to its default settings. And that will not allow you to complete complex creations. If you want to, comp if you want to create complex creations, which I know everybody will, check this box and it's going to enable that complexity now once you are satisfied of what you do and do not want in the game i'm going to go ahead and click install and this shouldn't take too long Okay, now the mod is fully installed, but before we hop right into the game, we want to make sure our files are actually there. So we're going to go back to the folders. So I download my games through Oregon, so I'm going to go to Windows C again. Program files are program files 86 minus 86. And you're going to locate the Oregon Games folder right under Oregon. So click Oregon Games, Sport Galactic Adventures. Remember what I said before. And all the game files, the mod, is going to be inside this data folder. So we're going to go to data and right here you should see a list a huge list of the mod all starting with exclamation points saying 2019 so make sure everything is in here all right so now we're gonna launch the game you're gonna go to program data depending on where you put the laundry kit Open up the laundry kit folder and you're gonna hit Spore Mod API Laundry EXE.
okay and we should see some changes in a little bit As you see, I mean, just look at the intro. See, the mod is now working. As you can see, new loading screen. Now let's go into the editor. We go into the country creator. It's everybody's favorite. Okay, and as you see, this is what my game looks like with Dark Injection. As you can see, you have the new parts, robotic parts, more miles from the Dark Spore game. It's a lot of stuff. everything new limbs for your creatures new hands feet all, all all that sorts of stuff So this is pretty much what you would expect from the Dark Injection mod. And that's basically pretty much it. Um, so if you run into any problems, please feel free to leave your comment down in the comment section below. And I hope this video was very helpful to you. Once again, if you have, if you run into any problem of any sort, just comment down in the comment section and enjoy your mod. Thanks for watching.